I've always been very supportive of Greece in this situation, including when I was uh, Prime Minister of Italy and I tried to exercise some uh, mediation between Nordic countries and Greece. But now the Cyprus government uh, started off with a huge political capital, also because of the sympathy that they were having in Southern Europe in particular, but uh, the negotiating uh, uh, stance, uh, I'm afraid, has been such as to exasperate uh, many European partners, including from Southern Europe, who at this point uh, are saying, but uh, we, Spain, Ireland, Portugal, and in some sense uh, Italy, although Italy did not have the Troika, uh, have been doing a lot of efforts. Now it's, uh, it's your turn, and uh, the European authorities really have, at this point, very, very little margin. Although the intention to keep Greece uh, in the Eurozone and avoiding default is still very, very strong, but I think the remaining distance has to be run particularly on the side of Greece. Yes. Do you think there's a risk that relations between Mr. Tsipras and other European leaders, and you've been pretty blunt about him, do you think there's a risk that those relations have become so poisoned that actually Greece does leave the euro and agreement is not reached on Monday just because the individuals don't trust each other and don't like each other? There is a risk, but on the other hand, in my experience, I see that political leaders have a degree of tolerance uh, with each other that is uh, much normal, the one of uh, normal people. (laughs) Uh, And there is another factor. The Greek public opinion is very mature. Not only they threw out governments uh, that in the past had done uh, very poorly, But they are very mature in the sense that at the tune of 70-75% in each poll, they want firmly to remain in the euro. Mm. So I think that the Greek government cannot really play too hard games that uh, we would, uh, would see it in the end go out of the euro. Yeah, but the Greek government would say, well, that's, that may be true, but actually we also know, and we have this trump card up our sleeve, which is that the euro would be desperately, desperately damaged, perhaps fatally, if Greece were to leave. The comparison is always between the damage of a country leaving, therefore putting in doubt the dogma of the irreversibility of the euro, and the damage of having one country and maybe by imitation others in the future which are not really willing to play by the rules that have been agreed. So that uh, I uh, suspect that... uh, In the end, a compromise will be found, but uh, I don't believe that Mr. Tsipras can play deliberately the card, uh, oh, careful because I take my country out of the euro, because his country does not want to be taken out of the euro. Yes, but other euro countries also don't want it taken out, and actually it is it goes further than that, doesn't it? They know, I mean, you, you seem to be suggesting that the euro could carry on. But I think you're also accepting that it would be a rather different beast, wouldn't it? Because someone would have left and and other countries might then consider leaving. Exactly. Because the credibility, especially in the marketplace of the euro being there forever and ever, with nobody leaving it, uh, will have been infringed. But that's a huge, huge bargaining chip for Greece then, isn't it, even now? Yes, but I say one thing would be if... uh, on top of the damage inflicted to others in case you take your country out of the euro, you have a public opinion at home which is rather favourable to leaving the euro, then it's a win-win in a sense for the country to leave. But if the country firmly wants to stay in the euro, the government uh, will will be blamed once the emotions are over. But just to make this clear, you believe that the euro could survive and prosper in the future without Greece, if it came to that? Yes, I wouldn't have said that three years ago. In 2012, uh, the rest of the eurozone was by far not uh, ready enough uh, to survive the risk of contagion. But relative to three years ago, Each of our countries has made huge progress in putting 
its finance in order, the governance of the Eurozone in terms of, uh, in particular, monetary policy, but also of other measures, has been uh, modernized so that the Eurozone has acquired much more resilience vis-à-vis uh, -vis any possible departure. Having said that, it would be a tragedy, particularly for Greece, but I do not believe that uh, this would be the end of a credible uh, euro. To be very clear, I still much prefer that Greece stays, but uh, unfortunately there are limits unless one wants to pollute uh, the whole climate of the eurozone and encourage, in fact, others to behave improperly in the future.